Hi everybody, it's Denny here from Angel Handmade Paper Craft. Today I am sharing with you a card I have created for Whimsy Stamps using the Aussie Friends set. I will be using the Warm Matte Image. This stamp set is available as a digital set. Um, there is some extra images and sentiments with that one. You also can purchase it as a rubber stamp set. So today I'm using the digital version. I've got it printed onto some Express Blending card and I also have made up a sentiment on my computer. So that's all done on my computer. Um, I am colouring with Copic markers as you can see and I'm just working my way through colouring all of the image up just using quite a few of my brown markers. I will have a full set of a full set a full list of all of the Copic markers used over on my blog if you'd like to check them out there and um, yeah let's get working all the way through this video. So um, I am almost finished colouring him up I'm going to go in and add some extra details using a white uniball pen and I'm going to be printing out some digital papers as well, which are also from Whimsy Stamps. They will be from the Rustic Wood and Brick Papers. I am just printing them out onto some uh, basic copy paper, nothing special. When I'm doing a lot of layers, I don't worry about printing onto any thick cardstock. So here is the image all colored up. Now we're gonna get started. So here is my papers all printed out. I'm also bringing in some Frangieville uh, craft card stock. I'll link up a few different products. And I am also using some brown cardstock from American Craft. So I've got some stitch circle die here. So I'm going to cut my image out uh, through my Sizzix Big Shot. And um, when I get my sentiment and I start working out all of my layers, I will be cutting some of the bottom of the little uh, wombat. So I'll be using a pen knife to do that. So if you can use scissors or whatever it is that you've got on hand. Um, for me, I didn't want to actually cut the circle. So I very carefully did use my pen knife. So you'll see me do that shortly. Uh, right now, I'm just playing around with how I'm going to put the sentiment onto the card. I did print two of them out. So the second sentiment I will be using on the inside of the card as it didn't fit onto the front. So just working my way through, so you'll see me now, I've got my pen knife out and I'm very, very carefully cutting the bottom of his legs and his feet. Uh, that way I can slide the sentiment underneath and it looks complete and I'm super happy with the way that it turned out. It just finished the card perfectly. So it looks like he's actually sitting on top of the sentiment and I love it. So here I am playing with that. I'm going to start adhering all of my layers down. Um, just using some Helmer adhesive on those ones. Um, on the bigger layers on some of them, I did use my Scotch ATG gun uh, just because I didn't want anything to tear as I was working my way through. Uh, so yeah, I did use two different of those uh, papers that I printed out. Um, I used some of the bricks and some of the what looks like floorboards. Um, or wood planks or however you want to call them wherever you're from um, and I use those as well for the inside of the card as well I did just cut down a rectangle of um, cardstock to add to the center of my card and I'm all, I've am i also thrown in a layer of ribbon underneath the sentiment so I love finishing off all of my cards I do always uh, decorate the insides I just don't always record it usually you know I've, I've just been in a hurry to get the front of the card done and um, I don't video all of that so today you will see complete all the way through me adding all my stickers and everything else onto my cards for those of you that are asking I did make the stickers myself uh, just using my um, digital cutting machine so I just made them in the program and then cut them all out so here I am adding the last of the layers down and I'm super happy with the way that this card has turned out. I really love it. And I love that I was able to use that second sentiment inside the card. It finishes it all off perfectly. So that is my card complete. I hope you guys will go and check out the new release over at Whimsy Stamps. I can't believe that it is September already, but it is what it is. So have a great day and I'll catch up with you all soon. Bye.